Hi, Stephen from Owner Disown. Well, the most common comment in my channel of late is why are these great AMD laptops, you know, with the 4800H, the 4900H, the 8-core CPUs, why are they getting stuck with lower-end GPUs, you know, maxing out at the RTX 2060? And in most cases, to be fair, you know, a Max-Q version of that, 1660 Ti's, or even in the case of the Legion 5, you know, a 1650 Ti. It's like, come on, man. We need, you know, as gamers want, you know, higher-end GPUs. And also, why are they getting, you know, subpar panels? Why, why are we looking at panels that are, you know, a low uh, colour gamut of 50, 60% of sRGB? You know, on these CPUs, these 8-core CPUs, aren't they supposed to be good for content creators? So we want decent colour. Also, why are they got low, you know, you know, low response times? The the G14, you know, that was reputed to have like a 30, 30 millisecond response time. The Asus Tough uh, A15 I had... You know, that, you know, didn't do very well in my ghosting test. So I suspect that was probably something similar. Um, you know, what is going on here? You know, we, we want a high refresh rate. We want a, a low response time. And we want good color gamut. And we've been seeing those type of panels for quite a while now on the Intel laptop. So, you know, why that? Why is that? Um, now, of course, there, there might be a couple of exceptions. I mean, like the G15. Of course, that's available uh, with a 144 hertz panel, so it seemingly sucks. But the 240 hertz panel is supposed to be 80, 100% uh, of sRGB with a three millisecond response time. So we'll we'll check that one out and see what that is like. But so what is going on here? Now I was at CES in January and I sat down with Jared and I, you know, I said, you know what? It seems like Intel are putting the pressure on a lot of the OEMs here to to lock them down because you walk around the floors there, there might be, you know. Eight Intel laptops to to to, to two uh, AMD ones at best. Perhaps even just one AMD one. They're very sparse. The Dell G5, for instance, uh, the special edition that was tucked away in a corner. You know, in the dark, nobody wanted to see it. It was very very peculiar. They weren't getting much hype at, at, at all. Um, so I, I at the time I thought, well, perhaps Intel have a hand in this. And, you know. Do NVIDIA, NVIDIA have a hand in this as well? At the end of the day, NVIDIA and AMD are competitors. And, you know, why should I help AMD out? But, you know, I reached out to AMD. They they, they, they told me they couldn't tell me, uh, you know, what their upcoming their GPUs are going to be or anything, any details. Um, so I sp spoke to a few other my contacts. And uh, said, what they say is that the higher-end GPUs, the RTX 2070s or 2080s, they require more capacitors on the PCB. Um, so, you know, and, and, and in doing so, it adds an extra layer of complex, uh, complexity to, to the design process, and it needs to go through some validation steps with NVIDIA. Um, so, you know, I, so I do believe the OEMs do want to make these laptops. At the end of the day, they want to sell good laptops, and they know that the AMD CPUs are very popular, um, but they've got to go through these validation steps, which takes some time. Now, you know, if I was NVIDIA, I'd probably delay that process because, you know, it, why do they want to help uh, AMD out here? So my, I suspect that they will probably, you know, just, uh, you know, try and keep AMD one generation behind, perhaps. Now, of course, you know, AMD make their own GPUs as well. Now you've got the uh, the 5500M, um, which is in the which was uh, was in the Alpha 15. That was held back by the slow RAM and that the uh, slower CPU. Now, of course, that's in the Bravo line, the Bravo 15 and the Bravo 17. And by all accounts, now that works probably just slightly faster than the 1660 Ti, so that works out okay. And you've got the 5600M, which is supposedly going to be in the Dell G5 Special Edition. Now, that should be on par to a 2060. So we're getting there, getting there. And later this year, the 5700M, uh, 5, which should be between the 2070 and the 2080. It's a 120 watt part, I believe. Now, I've got no details on when that'll arrive. So in the meantime, what is going to be available? Well, some good news. Could be our saviour here. Uh, Electronics will be uh, releasing a, a, a version of their Mech Series, 15-inch uh, laptop, I believe. And that's going to have the 4800H, and it's going to have uh, the 2060, but it's going to have the Electro Boost, which... If you've seen my reviews on those, it boosts it up uh, the power, and it's going to boost it up to 115 watts. Now, that's going to be pretty good, because then that's going to put it on par to a 2070 Max P or a 2080 Max Q. Now, the downside, they tell me, is going to have like a 48 watt hour battery, but my Asus Tough uh, A15, you know, watching YouTube, and that got me down around about five hours. So I think it's going to be okay. And, and it's going to have the power that we want. Now, I don't know about the display. You know, details will emerge 
and I'm sure we'll be seeing that within you know next month or two. So, so that is good news. Anyway, this is going to be a, just a little discussion. Let me know what your thoughts are. Put in the comments uh, below. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye now.